So I'm uh, Vicencio and I love uh, music, cakes and Angular. Um, and probably most of you had to implement a search at some point using Angular. And uh, you made use of uh, one of these subjects, maybe pipes, RxJS. Uh, but to, today I want to show you in uh, five minutes how to properly implement a search very simple. Uh, I'll jump right into the code because we don't have time. <laughs> and uh, I prepared uh, some uh, some code here. We have an uh, app component, which is uh, split into two uh, smaller components, search and results, uh, as you can see here. Um, I'm just going to go into the search component that has an input. Uh, this input is a form control. You can see it uh, defined here in the search component. It's this uh, search input. And what we are doing here, uh, we're subscribing to the value changes of the search input. We're calling a search service, do search, uh, and we're sending the response to a subject that's uh, present in the search service. Uh, if you head on to the search service, this uh, subject links the two components together and uh, the do search method will bring up the results from the back end, which in this case is a JSON file, um, and filters the, the results. Okay, so uh, the results component is fairly simple. It has the subject here hooked up to the service and it just displays the results. Um, if we try it out, uh, please take a look at the network panel. Uh, we're going to see some uh, uh, serious requests here. We have 10 requests and I just wrote in nine letters. And it, with each keystroke, it's going to make another request. And you can see that uh, the results are coming in very slowly. Uh, so this is really a problem. Um, what I'm going to do now is comment this out and I prepared a better piece of code here. So let me walk you through the changes real quick. Um, I swapped the subscribed with the pipe. Uh, we have uh, a filter here that limits the query to at least three characters. Uh, we have a debounce time that will um, search only when I stopped typing for 300 milliseconds. This thing until changed to avoid uh, searching for the same query twice. And the most important switch map, which will basically cancel out the uh, pending requests uh, when a new request is done. So I'm gonna try it on now. Um, I typed in the same, the same query. Uh, you can see only the, the result here. Um, I have a cancelled result due to the switch map and the, the successful result, uh, the successful uh, request here. So uh, if I just uh, erase this, you can see that the number of requests are really limited. So this is the, the winning combination. Of course, you may enhance this with the catch error and stuff like that. So um, that's the only thing uh, I can uh, I can show right now. Um, please uh, keep in mind the result relevance. That's what why we used filter. Um, we use the debounce for num to limit the number of requests. We use uh, distinct until change to avoid duplicate requests and switch map for uh, avoiding response mixups. Uh, you can find the code here. Um, and thank you. Uh, for today. Have a nice, uh, nice day.